In this video, we're looking at matching audio levels. As more and more people start up YouTube channels and vlogs of their own, and the video quality and audio quality of phones get better, a common problem is still matching audio from clip to clip. Having good matching audio gives a much better viewing experience for your audience. Let's try this out. In this case, I have two different shots from the same vlog. In the first clip, the audio is a little loud. What's up guys, Cole vlog number 172. In the second, the vlogger's voice is a bit softer. Once again, everybody, you're watching Cole vlog episode 172. These audio meters help us compare the levels of our clips. The level shouldn't go over zero because you might get distortion that way. Commonly, we want our clips around negative six. So we will use the volume sliders to increase or decrease volume for our clips to match them. As you can see, the levels on clip two are much lower, indicated by the red lines showing the peak of the volume. You can also see the difference in volume visually by looking at the waveform on the timeline. To match the first and second clip volume, double click on the first clip. Now click on audio. In this menu, we have access to fade in, fade out, pitch change, equalizer, and denoise. To change our volume, however, we can adjust it on the left side of the screen with the slider or the DB box. DB stands for decibels. A decibel is a unit used to measure the intensity of a sound. The less decibels, the less volume you have. Going above zero may give us some distortion on our audio. So I'll subtract three decibels from the loud clip to bring it down to around negative six decibels. Then I'll do the same thing to my soft clip, but this time I'll add three decibels. Now the audio will match better around negative six. What's up guys, Cole Vlog number 172. Once again, everybody, you're watching Cole Vlog episode 172. Finally, with this clip, the vlogger walks away from the mic, causing the end of the clip to be softer than the start. Well guys, thanks for making it to the end of the vlog. I'm just gonna hang out with my cat. If you have changing audio levels within the same clip, we will have to use keyframes. A keyframe is a marker that indicates the changes in any element you're working with. In our case, the small dots will indicate the rise and fall of the volume and can be fine-tuned with perfect detail using keyframes. Clicking the keyframe button will add a keyframe to our clip where I have my playhead located. If I move my playhead further into the clip and click the dot again, I'll place another keyframe. Then one last time, I'll move near the end of the clip and add another. Now it's time to adjust them. By clicking the arrow, we can go to the next keyframe. And by dragging the slider, you can choose where the volume will be at that time. If you want to, you can adjust the keyframes by just clicking and dragging them to the volume that sounds right on your timeline. Now we have a good rise in volume. Well guys, thanks for making it to the end of the vlog. I'm just gonna hang out with my cat. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to bring your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.